Hey guys, Mr. Lewis here. Just want to take a few minutes to show you how we would like to share our Kids Fest projects this year. And the way we're having to do it, of course, is through Google Slides. Your homeroom teacher should have given you a link to your homeroom's Google Slideshow. So this is my homeroom that I'm showing right now. And the way this should be organized is probably going to be alphabetically speaking. And so you just go down the list on the side here to your name. So I know I'm all the way down here. And here I am. This is my slide. Why do I know it? That's my name by Jonathan Lewis. So once you're at this slide, it's just pretty much plugging things in. A couple of things. Make sure that you are putting in bulleted information. So just quick sentences. Do not put entire paragraphs, okay? Also, do not change the fonts or colors of this slide in any way. We want everything to be as uniform as possible. All you got to do is add the information, and you know how to do that. Just go in there and just delete what I, I have here, and then type in the information for your particular project. Also, please do not edit other students' slides. Um, we actually have a way of finding who edited the slides, so if you're messing with other student slides, we can find out, just letting you know that. Also, we want at least, bare minimum, of five pieces of information about your project. And here's the last piece, if you need more space, only if you absolutely need it, you can make another slide. So let's say I needed some extra space because I got a lot of information I really, really need to share you're allowed to go to your slide and simply duplicate. All right, so you would go to your slide, in my case it's 13, you're going to right click and you go to duplicate slide and it will duplicate that slide for you and now both 13 and 14 are mine. Um, however, here's the thing, what I ask of you is you are not allowed to have any more than two slides. All right, no more than two slides. Also, if you notice about the pictures here, you are being required to keep a three pixel border around it. And the reason why we do that is it actually makes your prod your presentation pop a little bit. And so you can do this a couple ways. You can just add a picture here, however, but I am gonna show you a different way. If you click the right click the picture and you go to a place that says replace image, then you can go to your computer, wherever you have saved the picture that you want, just upload from computer. I have a bunch here, I'm going to use that one. I open it up and it automatically puts it in there and it keeps the border, okay? So that's the quickest way to upload your picture without changing any formatting. Just right click, go to replace, and then wherever you have that picture from and it will replace it automatically and keep the format. And so that's it, that is all we're asking of you to do. Um, we are going to be sharing our stuff on March 29th, so we look forward to seeing that. Make sure that you talk to your homeroom teachers for the final due dates on everything because we want to get this done as quickly as possible, and we are all looking forward to seeing what your projects were about. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.